long, long time ago, Chauncey Phillips had a pretty great jump <laughs> shot. He also defended some of the great shooters who basically have ever done it. I would say Clay Thompson is in that category. Of whom does he remind you? And yes. How's he so good? He is. He reminds me of a guy that I went to battle with in the backcourt every single night whose jersey's retired in Detroit. Rip Hamilton. Hmm. Because they move so well without the basketball. Let's go to the tape. And let me educate you people. Yes. Rip was so great off a of ball movement. We watch him right here against one of the other greats, Ray Allen. Now, that move right there, a creating separation, is going to make sure that, assure him to get that shot. Oh. Now, Ray's chasing, doing as good as he can. Now you have Kendrick Perkins, who he meant to go off of his side. And let's say, listen, I'm one dribble away from getting me a shot off because I did such a good job of creating space early on. Now, oh. Clay Thompson. Also great, not good, but great with ball movement. Now you look at him right here. He has pretty much a single double opportunity. He can go off one way, but he chooses to go off of the double screen, which you will see is a smart move. Does a good job with Rudy of creating a little contact, but look how close he comes off a of boogie screen. And guess what? That's Pal Gasol. Why does he go that way? Because Pal can't switch. He can't affect the play. Rudy does a good job. Just like Rip, that's a one dribble pull up for an easy bucket. Now, Rip Hamilton usually uses down screens for mid-range jump shots. Now, Ray Allen gets caught up in the mix again, trying to shoot the, shoot, shoot the gap, excuse me. Rip gets his feet set, knocks it down. Now, Clay Thompson, he doesn't use his for mid-range jump shots most of the time, but you look at him right here. This defender is already done. Right, right. You don't create some contact and have some physicality, you're in trouble. He's going to do a good job of, again, picking the big man's side to come off of. To, and now this is the biggest difference between Clay and Rip. Paul, he comes off of that screen for the three ball while my guy Rip was a mid-range killer. Now, look at the last four years. Come on. Three of them prior to this year, he was number one in the league and probably by a mile at catch and shoot jump shots per game. This year, he's number two, only to Steph Curry. He's slacking. This guy huh. is a beast. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt.